Well, today in this video, we are going to discuss about two parts. Especially the first part is we are going to unbox and review this amazing product. Yep, as you can see, this. This is the Tripo Octagon Handle Softbox, which is very awesome for photography. And today in this video, we are going to, in the first part, to unbox and review this product. And in the second part, we are going to build this. Actually, it's a DIY project to use this for a video as well. As we know, the lighting is for a video very important, which can improve your video much more. As you can see, I have here the Godox 120cm softbox which is mounted on the Aperture 120D with a soft and very nice lighting. So let's open this and see which parts we have available in this bag. Okay, it has a nice like bag or we can say a pouch, a big pouch that you can use this or carry this very easily anywhere that you want. So, and the first thing that we have in our hand, it is the diffusion. I think it is the 120 centimeter octogen diffusion, which is will be mounted in the first place of the softbox. Yep. In the second part, we have the handle, which is very important. You can assign someone to hold this for photography in outdoor or maybe indoor, or either you can mount this on a stand to hold up the softbox so let's put this side as well let's open the third one yeah it is a diffusion which will be placed in the middle of the softbox to soft the light more than like now so let's place this side as well i think it's better and then we are with the main part which is the softbox itself the pouch the big pouch we can put this side and there is it so as you can see here we have a mount for the speed light for the indoor and outdoor photography so let's I think first we have to open the umbrella it's very really easy just need to click the claps and it will release something like this. Boom. As you can see, it is 120 centimeter octogen handle softbox from Tripo, which is very awesome. And I love the bigger softbox that can produce very soft light to the character or maybe for your object that you want videography or photography. Let's mount uh, the handle because it's very important. So we have to mount the handle to the softbox. It's really easy, just we need to put this something like this. And there we go. Looking very awesome. Does it look good? Yeah, perfect, I think. So, let's put this side. Well, I have with me the Nikon Speedlight, which is very powerful for photography. In the first place, we are going to place the light, the Speedlight, to the softbox and see the result. So, in the second part, we can do our daily project to use this for a video. Okay, let me check this. Yep, it's working fine. So I have to stand, there's no more room. Okay. So you just need to open this and drag the light in. Is it easy? Boom, there we go. I think we are ready with the light, and with the softbox and the speed light. Let's try it. 
boom. <laughs> Looking really good and I love it. I think it has the 90 centimeter, 65 centimeter and this is 120 centimeter which is very very awesome and big for covering whole studio or maybe environment. So let's apply the diffusion as well. nice and compact setup for this top box which is for photography well for the second part I want to build this for the video and I have to replace the speed light with a bulb holder which is here with me it's a nice and compact as you can see just we need to put a light on this and there we go we can put on this very soft light actually various colors of light that we can produce for our character. So let's do it. So in this part, I will have to add this and it is 15 volt. So let's do it. Well, I just placed the bulb to the bulb holder and now I'm going to plug this into the power and see the result. I think it has with itself around 2 meters wire, which is very very good. There we are ready with the, this soft box and it's built and converted with the, I think, video light. Something like this. So let's turn on this. Yep. As you can see it's very bright and I just placed the 50 volt uh, bulb on this you can either place on this a very high voltage a bulb to more light you need a very good and tiny I think a very compact stand as well for this to stand this lighting in your studio or maybe outdoor I have here with me the nice photo stand which is very compact and light it can work with this bad boy very nice and awesome so let's open this There we are in the final. It's that simple to build an awesome video light from a photography softbox. You just need three or four things to build this awesome soft light. You can use this to review your products, something like this. As you can see here, I have a very soft light on my face and on the object as well. So I hope you guys like the video. Hey, you forgot to mention how to purchase stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, you can find all the products and gears link in the description below. And if you have any concern or suggestion, you can write down below in the comment section. Oh, in the last thing, I forgot to mention, I have here with me the tripod grid as well, which is very important for those who need a direct light to the object or maybe to the character. This is the grid for this kind of light. I'm using this with my uh, Godox softbox, but sometimes I'm using this with this as well. You have to buy this extra because it's not included with the package of this uh, tripod softbox and you have to buy this in separately. So I have left the link for this as well in the description, you can check that as well so at the end guys i hope you find this video helpful if you did hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel at the meantime i will love to mention the creetube.xyz website which will be give you free and fresh lads 
actually the LEDs are premiered by Beer offering or giving the LEDs to our viewers free. So you can sign up there completely free and you can download every week free and fresh LEDs. So at the end, stay creative and stay safe. Bye bye.